we're a society that everyone just buys everything nowadays and if you can you can repair it why not it's gives me my own self-satisfaction but i realize i've then saving money as well as the environment but not buying something if i don't need it i'm ian patmore of ucl geography department here in london i've been here about 21 22 years now well, i'm the field work technician here so i support teaching and research getting equipment ready, make sure everything works, build something if it needs it. Either I get it ready and somebody's going out and doing that, or I may be required on that. So I'm very much part of the team to do that. So we've got two aspects of the geography department. There's obviously a human side, which is doing more on historical and way humans interact really in terms of history or diversity or something like that. And then we've got the physical side, which basically looks at how the world works really on a much more lower scale. We know it's happening on a global scale, but what's happening on a smaller scale on say a pond? So as we just bring it down a little bit, but it has implication because it can be then scaled back up the other way. So we're looking very much now at microplastics, global warming, biodiversity loss because of invasive species. So those are just some of the examples we get sort of involved with. We as a department look at quite a lot of sediment because you can understand what's going on with the environment now as well as in the past by looking at certain parameters within that sediment. So it could be pollen, diatoms, which is an algae, or pollutants. We obviously have quite a bit of mud in storage that we're looking at or have looked at from the Antarctic as well as Madagascar as well as the UK most other countries in the world we've probably looked at. We have various bits of equipment to analyse that sediment, maybe looking at particle size or contaminants within that sediment from pollution. So this looks like a washing up bowl, because it is, and what we're doing, this will then float on the water. Um, we've got to put some floats on this and we'll have aluminium foil on the top to reflect the sun. And what's going to happen, it's going to float and the, water, the gases that are emitted from the pond will then sort of get um, dissolved in the water. And then what we'll do, we'll come back seven days later and we'll syringe some of that water off to be then analysed for gases. We can work out what's going on with that. So obviously to make some of this uh, bits of equipment I need, so I've got various bits of kit. There's a milling machine behind me. I've got a lathe, so that helps me to manufacture what I require for those bits of equipment to be made or repaired. The technicians are such a crucial role, I don't think a lot of the field work could happen because we as technicians, we don't just look after the equipment and make it. Especially when we're making something, we're also thinking about the ergonomics. Will it break? The physical properties of what we're doing it. Will it last in the environment we're doing it? That sort of thing. It's not just go, there you go, and it will work. But the work goes behind all that to get to that point it can be quite long and technical. So obviously because some of my colleagues realise the work I've been put into making something or the field work I've done for that, um, they couldn't have done it without me. So yes, I am on some of the papers and I've, luckily my colleagues let me write white ones are my first author than one, as well as being co-authors as another. As a technician, and if you asked me when I was a kid I'd be doing scientific papers, I'd go, no, no chance. But I, I am, and I'm deeply grateful that I'm in an environment that lets me do that. I never know what's around the corner sometimes, what I may be asked to make, or my thoughts on how to do something, um, which keeps it very interesting. My door's open, so I have that sort of relationship, and it's reciprocal, and it all works really well. Very much, there's not them and us, it's very much a team. It's the way it should be. <laughs>